Janet Jackson fans have slammed the NFL's decision to book Justin Timberlake for the 2018 Super Bowl, claiming his comeback is the definition of white privilege. The senorita singer famously ripped off a piece of Jackson's top to reveal her right pierced nipple during her halftime show 14 years ago in what became known as Nipplegate, but despite Timberlake insisting that it won't happen this time, Jackson's fans are calling for people to boycott the show, claiming the incident ruined Jackson's career. The hashtag Justice for Janet was soon trending as others called for the NFL to invite Jackson back to perform too. Wardrobe malfunction Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake on stage in 2004 app David Phillip one Twitter user posted most effective way to get justice if or Janet is to not watch. Make this the lowest rated SB show ever. Hit them where it hurts. Another tweeted this is misogyny and white privilege at work ladies. I'm not worried cause majority ISNT here for it justice if or Janet sick. The NFL has since released a statement denying that Jackson had been banned from performing at the annual sporting event. The statement read there's no ban. We are not going to comment on any speculation regarding potential guests. There may be no guests. Along with Pepsi, we're excited to have Justin Timberlake, like the elite NFL players who can run, catch, and block. Justin can do it all, sing, dance, act, and entertain. He's the ultimate global superstar who we know will put on an entertaining and unifying show that will appeal to the massive worldwide audience. Timberlake announced the news of his performance on Twitter in a pun-filled sketch with TV chat show host Jimmy Fallon which saw the pair jumping around shouting I do have the time. It will be the third time the Grammy award-winning artist has played the event after performances in 2001, with former band in sync, and with Jackson in 2004. Singers Beyonce Knowles, Chris Martin and Bruno Mars performed during Super Bowl 50 between the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Katy Perry performs on stage during the Pepsi Super Bowl 49 halftime show at University of Phoenix Stadium on 1 February 2015 in Glendale, Arizona. Michael Jackson performs during the halftime show at the Super Bowl 27 in Pasadena in 1993. Janet Jackson covers her breast after her outfit came undone during the halftime performance with Justin Timberlake at Super Bowl 38 in Houston in 2004 Beyonce performs during the Pepsi Super Bowl 47 halftime show at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome on the 3rd of February 2013 in New Orleans, Louisiana. The Edge Bono and Adam Clayton of U2 performed during the halftime show of Super Bowl 36 at the Louisiana Superdome in New Orleans. At the first Super Bowl following the 2001 terrorist attacks, U2 performed Where the Streets Have No Name as a giant screen behind them unfurled names of the September 11th victims. Bruno Mars performs during the halftime show of the NFL Super Bowl 48 football game in East Rutherford, NJ. In 2014, Bruce Springsteen and the East Street Band perform at the Bridgestone halftime show during Super Bowl 43 between the Arizona Cardinals and the Pittsburgh Steelers on February 1, 2009 at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. James Belushi center and John Goodman performed during the halftime show at Super Bowl 31 between the Green Bay Packers and the New England Patriots at the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana in 1997. ZZ Top performs during the halftime show of Super Bowl 31 at the Louisiana Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana in 1997. James Belushi left and James Brown performed during the halftime show for Super Bowl 31 between the New England Patriots and the Green Bay Packers at the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. The Packers won the game, 352 in 1997. Britney Spears and Steven Tyler of Aerosmith performed during the halftime show for Super Bowl 35 at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida in 2001. Singers Kelly Rowland, Beyonce and Michelle Williams performed during the Pepsi Super Bowl 47 halftime show at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome on 3 February 2013 in New Orleans, Louisiana. Paul McCartney performs during the Super Bowl 39 halftime show at Altel Stadium on 6 February 2005 in Jacksonville, Florida. Florida musicians Gwen Stefani and Stink performed during halftime of Super Bowl 37 between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Oakland Raiders on the 26th of January 2003 at Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego, California. Musician Prince performs during the Super Bowl 41 halftime press conference at the Miami Convention Center on the 1st of February 2007 in Miami, Florida. Madonna performs alongside LMFAO during the Bridgestone Super Bowl 46 halftime show at Lucas Oil Stadium on the 5th of February 2012 in Indianapolis. 
Indianapolis, Indiana Usher performs during the Bridgestone Super Bowl 45 halftime show at Dallas Cowboys Stadium on 6 February 2011 in Arlington, Texas. APL. AP, Fergie, Will. I. AM and Taboo of the Black Eyed Peas perform during the Bridgestone Super Bowl 45 halftime show at Dallas Cowboys Stadium on February 6, 2011 in Arlington, Texas. Fergie of the Black Eyed Peas and Slash perform during the Bridgestone Super Bowl 45 halftime show at Cowboys Stadium on February 6, 2011 in Arlington, Texas. The Rolling Stones perform during halftime of Super Bowl 40, the 5th of February 2006 in Detroit. Diana Ross sings during the halftime show for Super Bowl 30 between the Dallas Cowboys and the Pittsburgh Steelers at Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe, Arizona. The Cowboys won the game, 2,717 in 1996. Steven Tyler of the rock group Aerosmith performs during the halftime show at Super Bowl 35 the 28th of January 2001 at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. CeeLo Green performs during the Bridgestone Super Bowl 46 halftime show at Lucas Oil Stadium on the 5th of February 2012 in Indianapolis, Indiana. And Sync performs during halftime show of the Super Bowl 35 game between the New York Giants and the Baltimore Ravens at the Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. The Ravens defeated the Giants 347 in 2001. Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey of the Who perform at halftime of Super Bowl 44 between the Indianapolis Colts and the New Orleans Saints on 7 February 2010 at Sun Life Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida. The Red Hot Chili Peppers performed during the Pepsi Super Bowl 48 halftime show at MetLife Stadium on 2 February 2014 in East Rutherford. New Jersey singers Christina Aguilera and Enrique Iglesias performed during the halftime show at Super Bowl 34 at the Georgia Dome in Atlanta on the 30th of January 2000. U.S. singer Stevie Wonder performs during the halftime show at Super Bowl 33 the 31st of January at Pro Player Stadium in Miami in 1999. Gloria Estefan performing during the halftime special of the Super Bowl 33 game between the Denver Broncos and the Atlanta Falcons at the Pro Player Stadium in Miami, Florida. The Broncos defeated the Falcons 3,419.